So there is a body, right? So this body, if you consider, uh, the saying this body travels 200 meters in the first two seconds, right? If it starts at t equal zero, within t equal two time, it travels how much? 200 meters. Uh, and 220 meters in the next four seconds and 200 and 220 meters in the next four seconds next two seconds ah, next two seconds next two seconds means from t equal to if you add two more seconds it is t equal four right so pretty obvious okay uh, and then what will be the velocity at the end of seventh second? What they're asking is, what will be the velocity at the end of t equal seven? What will be the velocity at this point now? What will be the velocity at the end of t equal? Right? Yeah. What will be the end? Uh, uh, what will be the Yes, uh, velocity at the end of t equal seventh second. Right? This is what they ask. All right, okay. So, uh, what we could do to solve this is if you see, these are the only data that is given. They have not given the starting velocity, they have not given the initial velocity, right? And then also, have they given the uh, velo acceleration? Have they given the acceleration? Even the acceleration is not given, right? So the is given to be a zero, and they have asked, told us the acceleration is constant, constant acceleration throughout, throughout the motion, constant acceleration. So let us uh, let's assume this point is A, B, C, and D. So solving this question is not a big deal, guys. Right? So what you need to understand is not. To, like what you need to get from the session is not how to solve these questions, but what you need to get is how I approach the question. The approach. So first of all, what do I do? First of all, what do I do? Uh, I drip a diagram and mark all the data that is given in the question into the diagram. Now I do not have to look at the question once again, right? So straight away I know this is not how okay. they have not given. The initial velocity if you read a body travels 200 meters in the first two seconds 220 in the next four seconds our uh, next four seconds next four seconds means uh, t equal two plus four more seconds t equal six ah uh, t equal six uh, next four seconds what will be the end uh, what will be the velocity at the end of seventh second from the start but have they given the starting velocity that's not given, right? So in that case, what you could do is, right? Simply from A to B, first of all, let's find this U and A. So how many unknowns are there? U, V, U, A, V. U, A, and V are unknowns. Are unknowns. Now, all these are unknown. U, A, and V are unknowns. If three of these are unknowns, you will need three more equations. You will need three equations to solve this. You need three equations to solve this, right? So what you're going, what you're going to do is from A to B, first of all, apply from A to B, from A to B apply S equals U T plus half it is four. So what is S from A to B 200? What is the initial velocity? U unknown. The time taken is two seconds. Acceleration unknown. Time taken two square. So 200 is equal to two U plus one square to two cancels out two A. One equation. I have got one equation now. Similarly, I'll be getting another equation from by applying this equation from A to C. A to C. Why didn't I apply from B to C? Why didn't I apply from B to C? 
I could have applied from B to C, but the thing is to solve a question, you like when you apply the linear motion equations, in the linear motion equations, how many unknown terms are there? One, two, three, four. Acceleration, displacement, uh, time. So in this case, time, acceleration, displacement, and the initial velocity. There are four terms. At least you need three terms, known three terms. Here, if you include this in initial, like, when you consider this part of the motion, it will get confused. I mean, because like this, this, this velocity here is unknown. The velocity at the point B, the velocity at the point B is unknown. So, once again, if you include a new constant, things are going to get complex because like already we have three unknowns. If you include another unknown, four unknowns. That means you need four equations. It's difficult. So, what I do is I'll apply from A to C itself. From A to C. Same equation. S equal u t plus half a d square. S equal u t plus half a d square. What is S? S is 200 plus 220. It is 420 meters. 420 meters. Right? What is u? Initial velocity is u. I don't know what that is. What is the time taken? Ah, to reach C, it has taken six seconds. Six seconds. Ah, what is the acceleration? A constant acceleration throughout from A to B. Same acceleration. A, A, A. Right? So that is also unknown. A. Time is six squared. So 420, six U plus, right? Uh, six into six a over two if you see you can cancel all these terms by six you can cancel all these terms by six 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 seventy if you if you divide 420 by six it is going to be 70 right basic simplifications uh, this is also six cancel cancel so what you are going to get is right 70 is equal to u plus uh, 3a, two equations. Now, I have how many equations? Two equations. What are the unknowns? The initial velocity and the acceleration. The initial velocity is unknown. Acceleration is also unknown, right? So what I will do is, I will solve simultaneous equations. I will solve simultaneous equations and I will find you in the initial velocity and the acceleration initial velocity and the acceleration right okay so i will solve that one comma two right these two uh what can i do i can multiply this one one minus two times two first equation minus two times two then two u to two u cancels up uh, 200 minus 2 times 2 is, sorry, uh, the second equation times twice, 70 into 2 is 140. Uh, uh, 2u plus 2a minus this, this times 2, 2u plus 3a, multiply this or each and every term by 2, 2u plus uh, 3a into 2 is 6a, sorry. 6a. All right. So this is 200 minus 140 is what? 60. 2u plus 2a minus 2u minus 6a minus into plus minus 2u minus into plus minus 6a. Right. So simplifications you need to improve yourselves. Right. 2u to 2u cancels out. Right. So 60 is equal to uh minus four a minus four a all right yes minus four a so a is equal to uh 60 minus 60 over 
to a is acceleration is equal to minus 30 over so if you divide 60 over by 4 it's going to be minus 15 my ah uh, ms minus 2 minus 15 ms minus 2 acceleration is what now acceleration i i know that it is now what ah uh, minus 15 ms minus 2 so what is what does that mean the object has had, had an initial velocity now it is going with a deceleration it is decelerating right ah uh, okay so fine let's now find this velocity okay we need we have found the acceleration let's find the initial velocity also what is the initial velocity uh in one of these equations one of these equations we can substitute a i will take the second equation second equation is what 70 is equal to u plus 3a plus 3a right so 70 is equal to u is what we need to find 3a is 3 into minus 15 3 into minus 15 70 is equal to u minus 45 take this to this side take this to this side you are going to get u is equal to u is equal to 115 meter per second u is equal to what 115 meters per second now when you consider a to d motion when you consider a to d motion you need to find the final velocity at d you need to find the v final velocity at d at this point the initial velocity is given not given actually we found we found the initial velocity acceleration we found we can easily find this how actually because initial from a when we consider a to d motion when we consider a to d motion u is equal to 115 meter per second acceleration is equal to minus 15 meter per square second time is what from a to d time taken is seven seconds seven seconds what we need is the final velocity what we need is the final velocity what is the equation that we are going to use what might be the equation v equals u plus at right Final velocity is the thing that we need to find. V. V is what we need to find. Initial velocity is given. 115. Acceleration is minus 15. Time is 7. V is equal to 115 minus 15 into 7 is what? 15 into 7 is. I'll use the calculator for, to save the time. 105. So V is equal to 10 meter per second. V is equal to 10 meters per second. I will once again quickly give you a small V gap. Right? That is initially what they had given was the they have they did not mention the initial velocity they did not mention the acceleration also what they said was there is a body it travels 200 meters in two seconds first two seconds and in the next four seconds the next four seconds it travels 220 meters if so find the velocity at the end of seven seconds this is what they mentioned in the question. So based on those data, what we were able to find was 
It's initial and the final acceleration. Initial velocity and the acceleration, constant acceleration. For that, from A to B, I applied S equal to D plus half A D square. And got an expression for U and A. Once again, I applied S equal to D plus half A D square from A to C. Once again, I got an expression for U and A. U and A. So I have two equations for U and A. I simplified that simultaneous simplification. And I found the acceleration. After finding acceleration, I substituted it in this equation and found the initial velocity. So once after initial and the acceleration was found, right, finding the uh, final velocity at the point D is not going to be a big deal. Right? We just have to apply V equal U plus AT. Discussing the 16. Okay, it says a car starting from rest. Uh, so when it says cars and all, I'm not going to draw cars anymore. Right? So uh, this represents the cars. You need to understand, right? Okay, a car starting from rest and moving with a uniform acceleration, right? So remember, underline those numbers, the, the, the words. Moving with a uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration. Uh, underline. Possesses average velocities. Uh, average velocities. Underline. Average velocities. 5 meter per second. 15 meter per second. 25 meter per second. In the first second. Second second. And third second. Right? Yes. First, comma, second, and third seconds. First comma second right not first second first comma second and third seconds so that is this so let's assume it starts with zero so guys you need to understand always try to put the question to the diagram and then think to be honest i do not know what they are asking yet right and i'm not going to read even what the final part you just put the question to the diagram and then read the question. The, the read what they ask. These are psychology, right? So I mean, if you straight away read the uh, read what they ask, so it's going to keep on uh, recurring in your mind. Right? It's going to keep on recurring in your mind. Uh, you won't be able to put the, uh, absorb the data and uh, uh, mark it on the diagram. So first of all, mark the diagram and then read the question. Right? Okay. Uh, T equal one, T equal two, one, T equal two. I will draw somewhat side over here. T equal two, T equal three. So the first second, second second, third second. This is the first second, second second, the third second. Alain tapare, devani tapare, two many tapare. So they are saying the average velocities are in the first second, second second, and third second are five average, average, average. Five meter per second, average, okay. 10 meter per second, 15 meter per second. I told, I have taught you how to find average velocities. How to find average velocities when it is a accelerative motion. I have told you on the day one of linear motion how to find average velocities of constant velocity motions and how to find average velocities of accelerative motions. Once again, a small recap, right? So, uh, if it is a constant velocity motion, constant velocity motion, how do you find average velocity? Average velocity is equal to total distance over time. Take. If it is a, a uniform velocity, 
यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेटिव मोशन हाउ विल यू फाइंड द एवरेज वेलोसिटी u plus v over 2 what is u plus v over 2 if an object is here with a velocity u and if an object is here with a velocity v then the average average velocity between from here to here average velocity from a to b is u plus v over 2 you need to understand the difference what to apply when to apply what to apply in which position just knowing these things are not going to make any sense you need to remember at which point you can apply this you this can't be applied in uniform velocity mode you can't apply total distance over time taken that's not going to be possible <sighs> easiest one is this for uniform velocities right so uh they are saying a car starting from rest or uh, rest starting from rest we forgot that data starting from rest right average velocity is in the first second this is how the average velocity the second second this is the average velocity third second this is the average velocity i will mark these velocities at the point okay this is a b C and D. Point A, point B, point C, point D. So at this point, point B. Uh, let us assume the velocity at point B to be as v one. The velocity at point B to be as v one. Let's assume the velocity at point C to be as v two. Let's assume the velocity at point D to be as v three, v three, right? The velocity at point B to be as v one, velocity at point C to be as v two, velocity at point D to be as v three. Let's assume. Yes, let's assume. If that is the case. What is the average velocity between A and B? What is the average velocity between A and B? Five. So let's substitute this equation. Five is equal to our initial velocity is zero. Final velocity is v one unknown. Over two. Over two. So v one is what? Ten meters per second. V one is ten meters per second. V one is ten meters per second. How did I get that ten meters per second? Because they have given the velocity, the average velocity in the first second. Allow me to apply the average velocity here. Five meter per second. If that is the case, but they have also given that. Initially, a a movement of a tank is zero velocity. Is that right? The planet up there is not what is the velocity? How can we find that? How can we find that? We can find that b velocity b. We can find the velocity b. All right. How did we find that? How did we find that? Ah, we know that uniform acceleration at for uniform accelerations. Average velocities can be written as u plus v over two. Ah, average velocities they have given to be as five. Ah, five, five. U plus v, u, u, ah, zero, v, ah, over two, right? Ten. Nice. That's done. So let's consider a to b. Like first of all, let's see what uh, they are asking. Right? What is the total distance covered by the car in these three seconds? We need to find the total distance covered in these three seconds. They have not given the acceleration, ah, uh, but if I can find the velocity at this point, the point D, if I can find the velocity at point D, I know the final velocity, 
I know the initial velocity. I know the time taken. Can't I find the total distance traveled? Pretty simple. But for that, you need to know V3. You need to know V3. That is why I am step by step finding. First of all, I found V1. Next, I will show you how to find V2. Next, I will show you how to find V3. Step by step, step by step, you need to go. Very nice questions, right? So you need to analyze them well. Right. Next, B to C. B to C. B to C also average velocity equation. Average velocity is equal to U plus V over two. Average velocity is n. Average velocity is n. U plus V. Uh, U is this ten. Ten plus V. Uh, U plus V. V two over two. So twenty. Ten plus V two. V two is take this to this side. Ten. Uh, that can't be right. It's given uh, the average velocity of uh, 15. That is what I thought, right? So I have marked it as wrong. This is not 10. Average velocities, I have corrected it in the, in the tutor also. Sorry, okay. I am referring the old tutor. Sorry. The tube that I sent you, I guess I have corrected it. The uh, average velocity at the uh, at from A to B is five. The average velocity from B to C is fifteen. The average velocity from C to D is twenty-five. So here it should be corrected as it should be corrected as average velocity fifteen u plus v over 2 u plus v over 2 30 10 plus v2 v2 is 20 meter per second ah. now we have found that one right well, can't we find v3 easy easy to find v3 c2 D motion, consider C to D motion. Apply average velocity equation. Average velocity is equal to average velocity is equal to 25. U plus V over to 50. 20 plus V3. V3 is what? 30 meter per second now you know that now you know the final velocity at d you know the initial velocity at a you know the total time taken to move to b d that is one two three three seconds we need to find the total distance you consider a to d motion when you consider A to D motion, you know the initial velocity, you know the final velocity, you know the time taken, you need the displacement, you need the displacement. What equation are you going to apply? S equals U plus V over 2 into t uh, displacement is what we need to find u plus v over 2 time taken is 3 speed 30 over 2 into 3 15 into 3 this is equal to 40 5 meter the answer is the fourth one uh, five. Uh, let's go for the 17th one. A new pattern, actually. Right? A new pattern. Okay. We just need only the linear motion equations to solve all these questions, but still, uh, kind of new pattern. So, therefore, let's try that. 
a car is traveling on a straight road with a uniform velocity of 60 kilometers per hour. All right, there is a car It is traveling with uh, traveling uh, on a straight road with a uniform velocity 60. Okay. So you need to understand the you need to underline the word uniform. Uniform because it's a constant velocity motion, no acceleration. If it is a uniform velocity motion. No acceleration. You need to know that, right? It is a uniform velocity motion. No acceleration. Zero acceleration. Come on, speed begin on your Acceleration that you need there. Then accelerate when you accelerate, what happens is the speed increases. These are basic, right? It is followed by another car B. Uh, followed by another car B. I will draw this somewhat in front, right? A car A is performing a motion 60 kilometer per hour. All right. Another car, uh, a car B, which is moving the uniform velocity from behind. A car B from behind another car it is followed. Followed means from the behind it is being followed. Another car which moves with the 70 kilometers per hour. And also these questions are interesting questions, right? So try to do this with some interest. Real world questions. When the distance between them is 7.5. When the distance between them is 7.5 kilometers, when the distance between them is 7.5 kilometers, the car B is acceleration. Ah, the car B, B is starting to accelerate. It's like this. Let's consider these points as point X, Y. So, guys, it's like this. So initially, initially car A is a car B, like in this way it's moving. When car A reaches point Y and car B reaches point X, this car A is moving with what velocity? It is moving with 60 kilometers per hour ultra velocity. But what happens is when this B guy reaches X, what he does is he, he accelerates. He accelerates in, in order to pass him. This guy, what, what, he, what does he do? He accelerates. Accelerates with 20 kilometer per hour minus 2. Right? With this acceleration. With this acceleration. After what distance will B catch up A? Right? So when he sees when he when both reaches y and x, what b does is he accelerates. This guy does what he does is he accelerates. And uh, then he overtakes. Overtakes at which point? At this point. At this point. Z. Overtake is occurring at which point? At Z. Both are side by side. A and B. Both are side by side. Right? What they are asking is at what distance? S0 at what distance 
will be overtake a at what distance will be overtake a or do this so you need to understand guys right the, there are two types like there are two objects involved who are the two objects involved object a object b object a is performing a uniform velocity is performing a uniform velocity from a to from x to from y to z it performs a uniform velocity the car a from y to z the car a from y to z performs uniform velocity motion uniform velocity motion car b from x to z performs uniform accelerative motion the thing is guys let's assume when he was at what when this when 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 both this a was at x and b was at a was at y and b was at x p equals zero p equals zero and then number x and y can places will stop go over time stop watch it down but I'm going to get the stop watch it up equal zero or enough the stop watch starts from what time from zero equal zero now both are this at equal zero a is here it is here now I turned on the stop watch at equal t time at equal t time when b overtook a i stopped the stopwatch the time that i got was equal t equal t equal t you need to understand that within this t time within this t time why like the a object a within this t time object a moved from y to z within t time object a moved from y to z within the same t time for b to overtake a within the same t time b should move from x to z within the same t time b should move from x to z think about these things practically right now you are somewhat behind the person so you are saying someone okay uh, measure the distance between us quickly right that was measured and he's saying uh, he's asking you to start the stop watch and then both of you run when you at a certain instant when you overtake the other person that is in front you ask to stop the time 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 the other person has moved within the sit within the timer t this distance but you have to move what amount of distance you have to move this plus this distance why because already you were behind 7.5 kilometer 7.5 kilometer we connect in a 7.5 kilometers very good you need to go additionally 7.5 kilometers within the same time this should happen in the within the same time so what are the other guys right for an overtake to take place in linear motions Linear motions. B should travel 
7.5 kilometers plus S naught within the time T. Whereas, whereas A travels S naught within t if a travels s naught within t time b should travel 7.5 kilometers plus s naught within the same t time to overtake t we don't actually can't bear it for immediately what is meant by s naught is this distance s naught is the distance between x and y sorry y and z X naught is the distance between y and z, the distance, dura. So, first of all, for A, for A, I'm going to apply from y to z motion, y to z motion. What can I apply for A in y to z motion? Can I apply linear motion equations? For A, can I apply linear motion equations? Because why? Already I told you to underline. A is performing a uniform velocity motion. A is performing a uniform velocity motion speed. So therefore, the only equation that you could apply for uniform velocity motions is speed equal distance over time taken. Speed equals to distance divided by time taken. What is the speed he uh, A moves on 60 kilometers per hour? D is D is what? S naught. Time taken is T. I don't know T. So okay. S naught is 60 T. First the equation. S naught is 60 T. <coughs> So for B, B is what kind of a motion? Uniform acceleration motion. B is B when he reaches X, he sees Y at A as soon as he says sees A, he starts to accelerate. So from X to Z motion for B. B moves with that acceleration. So therefore, we will have to apply the linear motion equations. What equation are we going to apply? S equals ut plus half a t squared. These things, choosing the equations, of course, should come from practice, right? Can't it? It should come from practice. What is the distance that B travels within t time? 7.5 plus S naught. What is the initial velocity? 70 kilometers per hour. What is the time taken? T. Uh, what is the acceleration? 20. Time taken T squared. Time taken is T squared. If we simplify this, uh, this to this cancels. 7.5 plus S naught, 70 T plus 10 T squared. So instead of S naught, so this is the second equation. Instead of S naught, you can substitute 60 T, take and substitute T. So 7.5 plus 60 T, 70 T plus 10 T squared. Take this to this side. 10 t squared. Take this to this side. Plus 70 t minus 60 t minus 7.5 into zero. 10 t squared plus 10 t minus 7.5 zero. Right? Zero. So if you sub subject, uh, if you uh, find the time. 
T is going to be T. So this simplification, I told you, I will not teach those things because these are quadratic equations, finding solutions of quadratic equations. You need to know because you have done all your science. Uh, let's see. I think you will get an answer to T minus one, five T, One point five. Is that the case? No. Somehow, if you simplify, I'm not going to simplify, right? Somehow, if you simplify, you will be getting t equals to point five hours because all these are substituted in kilometers. So one point five was substituted in kilometers. So one kilometers per hour. So the answer should come in hours. You need to know. I explained it on the day one. In linear motion, the second condition when you apply uh, appropriate units should be applied. If you are applying it in distance in meters, hours should be applied in hours. Sorry, time should be our time should be applied applied in hours. If you are applying in kilometers, time should be hours, seconds and hours properly. Okay, so I simplify. T equal point. So within half an hour, within 0.5 hours, B overtakes A. So when B sees, when, when B is at X, but y, A is at Y, distance between them is 1.5 kilometer. If we start to accelerate at this point, within, within half an hour, 0.5 hours, he'd be able to accelerate. Sorry, he'd be able to overtake. Overtake. Right? And also they are asking the distance. Distance. What is the distance? What is the distance? It's not, right? And what distance and time? Distance is S0. You need to find S0. Can't you find S0? X0 is equal to 60t. S0 is equal to 60. What is T? How long does it take to overtake? 0.5 hours. So, S0 is equal to 30 kilometers. So, we get S0 in kilometers. So, additionally, 30 kilometers should be run. Right? So, we will, A will have to additionally move. I mean, A will have to, when A has moved 30, B will have to move 30 plus 7.5 kilometers to overtake. So, this was the question, right? Uh, I guess not a very difficult one. Mm. Started with an initial velocity, B started with an initial velocity. Once again, I'll give you a recap. B started with an initial velocity. A start at 60 kilometers per hour but it is moving with constant velocity but b when he is at x he starts to accelerate in order to overtake a so he accelerates with this velocity this acceleration initially the distance between these two guys were so it's 7.5 kilometers right? so what happens the condition for the condition to overtake is the condition to overtake always remember this is the condition box this out and remember right so the condition to overtake is within t time, in simple t time, if a moves an s naught distance, then for b to overtake a within the same t time, it should travel a distance of 7.5 plus s naught. So what condition now? A to b, b can I cannot a overtake current or not? A can a can a simple t time make the Yanadura Saha may pretty was singing a dura way with Rua the Gatua. B can a can a t time make the travel ground. It's over the one that overtake ground. So, with the with the A to B speed equal is a little bit time taken. Why? Because A is moving with a uniform velocity. Yeah. And then from B to sorry, X to Z. 
x2 is a dish. Right? So, what's the s naught in the other? We substitute for t. I found t. t was found to be as 0.5 hours. So, that means within 0.5 hours, a, b will overtake it. B, b will overtake it. So yeah, a car, a car, a, a car, a, moving in a straight line, a straight road with a uniform velocity. The uniform velocity, uh, this is like underline the word uniform velocity. Uh, 11. Uh, another car, another car B starts moving on the same road from rest with an acceleration uh, at the instant B starts, it is uh, at the instant B starts, it is 5.2 meters ahead of A. 5.2 meters ahead of A. 5.25 meters. Ahead of A, the car B starts from rest. A car B, car B starts. Uh, it's another car starts moving on the same from rest with an acceleration. Then acceleration what? This guy moves with an acceleration one meter per square second. At the instant. B starts, it is uh, 5.25 meters ahead of the right? Okay. Uh, when will A when will A catch B? When will A catch B? Uh, I do not have to explain all the scenario once again because I have done one question. Similar pattern, true, but I need you to understand the double nature. This is 5.25 behind. Both starts at let's assume t equal zero time. T equal zero time, right? So let's assume both a will overtake b at a point somewhere like this. A will overtake b somewhere a point like that. Let's mark these points as x y and z right overtaking occurs at z so let's assume the both are starting at t equal zero let's assume the overtake has happening at t equal t t equal t right let's assume this distance is what s naught the distance between y and z is s naught right so if a needs to overtake b what is the condition a overtakes b what is the condition if y travels s naught distance within t time the distance that a should travel within t time is 5.25 plus s naught condition you do not have to write these things just i'm saying if B travels is not in T time, then A should travel. A should travel. Uh, how much? How much distance? A should travel. Uh, Five point two five plus is not in t time in simple t time right okay so uh okay so b is move, performing what kind of a motion b starts moving on the same uh with an acceleration accelerative motion from from y to z for b for b from y to z it is an accelerative motion is an accelerative motion what uh, s is equal to ut plus half a t squared what is the distance he moves s naught 
is dropped. What is that initial velocity of him? He starts from zero. Uh, acceleration is one. T squared is unknown. T unknown. T squared over two. First equation. Right? First equation. So the next equation I'm going to apply for whom? I'm going to apply for a. I'm going to apply for a from where to where? X to z. In what time interval? Simple t time interval. X to z in simple t time interval. I'm going to apply s equals u t plus half a t squared. What is s? 5.25 plus s naught. 5.25 plus s naught. 5.25 plus s naught. What is the initial velocity? 11. Time simple t. Sorry. Sorry, I made a mistake. What is the mistake? What is the mistake? Can I apply s equal to plus half a t square for the motion of Think about it. Can I apply? They have mentioned a car A is moving in a straight road with uniform velocity. If it is moving with a uniform velocity, you can't apply linear motion equations, which means that the four equations that we learned is equal to plus half a equal those kind of equations. So you have to apply only speed equals to distance divided by time taken. So what is the speed it moves with uh, 11? What is the distance it has to cover? 5.25 plus S naught. The time is t, uh, 11 t. Second equation. You need to find first the time taken. When will A catch B? When, when, when means at what time? Mona time make it. What time? When? Kavad, right? So you need to uh, right instead of S naught substitute here eleven t five point two five instead of S naught substitute this equation t squared over 2 multiply all by 2 22 t 5.25 multiplied by 2 is 10.5 plus t squared 10.5 plus t squared right a uh, 52.5 sorry not 5.2 52.5 please if I make any mistake, please let me know, okay? So if not, point is here, 52.5. 52 52.5 52 multiplied by 2 is, what? 52 into 2 is 104, 104, 105. T squared minus 22t plus 105 this is the answer so we will be having two answers i guess we'll see t t uh, 22 how can you get addition of 22 when multiplying 105 uh, 51, no, uh, 21 into 5, 21 into 5 is possible, right, 21 into 5, 21 into 5, yeah, 21 into 5 is possible, 21 into 5, minus, minus, we'll see, no, right, no, 21 into 5 is not possible. What is possible then? Mm. 
Yeah, 2185 is possible, but uh, it doesn't make 22T. So, what can we use? What uh, quadratic expression 105 to take 105? Uh, what else can you use? Twenty-two. Twenty-five into fifteen times seven. Oh, Sorry? Fifteen times seven. Sorry? Yeah. Fifteen times seven. Ah, fifteen times seven. Yes, exactly, exactly. Nice. Fifteen. Thank you. Thank you. Fifteen times seven if you get ah exactly. Nice, right? All right. 15, so, okay, thank you guys, right? So, yeah, it makes sense, right? 105, oh, so the time is, one is seven seconds or 15 seconds. So you can't eliminate any answer. Both answers are positive answers. If there was a P equal minus seven, we can, we can say time cannot be minus and uh, we can eliminate that, but here, T equals 7 seconds, T equals 15 seconds. Both are positive answers, which means now we should have a way to justify. We should have a way to justify this answer. How can we justify? So what is this time? The time is the time corresponding. Like T is the time corresponding for an overtake. For an overtake. It's like this. What happens is this, try to understand, right? So this blue color is A, B is the red arm. So actually, he is moving with the same 11 velocities, 11 meter per second velocity. It doesn't change. But this guy is starting with zero. From zero, step by step, by increases. Uh, he comes with the higher speed and overtakes. Now, overtakes. So overtake has happened, right? Overtake has happened. Once again, this B, B what happens? B is accelerating, still B is accelerating. Still B is accelerating. Once again, B can overtake A. Because B is moving with an acceleration. I mean, first of all, this guy overtakes B, but B is moving with an acceleration. So when his acceleration increases, when his, when his velocity increases, once again, B will overtake A. Once again, B will overtake A at T equal 15 seconds. Once again, B will overtake A at T. In this case, at T equal 7 seconds, at T equal 7 seconds, A overtook B. At 15 seconds, once again, B overtakes A. Can A once again overtake B? Practical, right? Think about a motor race. Can once again A O take B? No, why? Because the velocity of A is 11. Yeah, 11 will be young. Ariang velocity B, A velocity, Vadikaran, Vadikaran, upper velocity, Vadikaran. Yeah, acceleration is young. We have the many part of the past. I don't know. That is speed taking and a B in it. B moves with a high speed. Right? So you need to understand this point well. First of all, A, uh, A overtakes B, why? Because B is starting from zero. B is starting from zero. Therefore, like, Bulio Hatangan or Heminian, B Heminian, Israel, Porta Porta, the velocity value in Habemia, or a eleven valley Mavilla, a power no. Power was say B and Nick, but power was A and Nick, eleven valley metabo. It B, like speed, Porta Porta Vadikerla, I A valor, sorry, B valor. 
మీ ఈ పాయ ఏ వాళ్ళు మరి పట్లగండి వా 